Welcome to the Titan Sea, Shannon. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, for starters, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? You're, um, what grade are you in right now? I'm going into the ninth grade. So you're a rising high schooler? Yes, okay, how's that feel? It feels good. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So, considering this hasn't been the typical school year, how has the last few months felt? It felt different because you couldn't go anywhere. You had to stay in the house and you had to wear a mask everywhere with gloves. Yeah, um, the safety protocol change. You think that's going to affect things next year? Um, yeah, in school especially. Okay, okay. Well, um, let me ask you this question just to, to, to get a little bit of your personality. Who inspires you in general? Nobody specific, not sports, not art, anything specific. You know, it could be anything. What inspires you? My mom. Your mom? What about your mom inspires you? She inspires me to keep pushing. Okay, okay. So with that being said, with the way that things are changing because of the virus, you now got to work out a little bit different, right? Yeah. And it's a little harder, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to need things like your mom to help you keep going, right? Yeah. So let me ask you this. When you see your mom trying very, very hard to do something, when you're trying very, very hard, do you react the same way she does? Yeah. You think you? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So you think you're prepared to take on what this high school life has to throw at you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you excited to go to the, your, your next school, your your brand new high school? Yeah. Okay. You think you're going to have a lot of teammates that are going to join you there? Yeah. Okay. So what's the most exciting thing about entering a new school with new players and new classmates and new teachers? You get to see how people are different from others. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Shana. When you go into that school next year, are you going to go in quiet and reserved or are you going to go in there and tell them what you want? I'm going quiet and not do a lot of like big groups of friends. Okay. Okay. Do you feel like that's a distraction? Yeah. Has that like hindered you at all in school? Yeah, having a large group of friends can like distract you from work and grades and doing good in school. So what advice would you give, let's say a rising middle schooler going to where you were just at? Like what advice would you give that middle schooler? To keep your group small because you don't know how people are with people. Okay. So they keep their group small, and that's good advice. Let's say you got a middle schooler that's also real quiet, but wants to try out for the team next year. Do you think that you could give them any tips or the person any tips to help? Try them? your hardest and don't let nobody think of you as a different person just because you don't just because you don't hang out with a lot of people. Okay. What did you find out about middle school that you didn't know before you got there? That it's going to be harder and work is different, teachers are different, the schedules. Okay, so on that work, what was something that you felt that was really challenging? I would say social studies was challenging for me in 7th and 6th. Do you feel like they tried to help you a little bit or do you feel like there were things to help you? Yeah, there were things to help and, and teachers will help you, you just have to help, help them get to know what you need help with. Okay, so what were some of the things that people started to do to help you, that helped you get over this? They gave me things to study on. They gave me, like, websites to go look on. Okay, okay. Let's go back to um, who inspires you. Um, do you think you inspire anybody? Um, I would say Younger girls. Younger girls? Athletes. Okay. Well, you know, as a, as a bystander who, who watched you over the years, I can definitely tell you inspire others, 100%. Thank you. Whether they tell you or not, that's definitely the case. Um, well, let me ask you this. Things in 2020 have been very different. Is there anything that you think you could suggest to help out with anybody next year when it comes to the sports thing? Just 
even if there's no gym open, you can work out your dribbling outside. If you don't have a hoop, you could just shoot onto a wall and practice on. And once you get into like tryouts, if you haven't even practiced your shooting, you can still do good on defense because defense is more important than offense. Okay, speaking on that, um, I've talked to a few of your coaches, and um, one thing that um, they all told me, not specifically to you, but they said that every player that's on that team plays defense first and foremost. How important is defense to your game? It's very important to me because when you, when you, in order to get to offense, you have to play good defense in order to get the ball and prevent them from making more points. What do you do on the court if you see some of your teammates just not picking up the slack? You know, like what, what do you, how do you handle that? I tell them to keep to keep up and try to play more aggressive. Even if someone's like bigger than you or taller than you, you can still overpower them and use all your force on them. Okay. What position do you play? I play small forward. Small forward. Okay, that's a tough position. Do you feel like you have to be extra physical in that position? Yeah. Okay. So with the physical aspect and the virus still kind of being a little, it's still strong in this out, do you think that's going to affect your gameplay or do you think you're just going to have to play the game? Yeah, it's going to affect it a lot because there's barely any gyms opening and there's only a small capacity for people to be let in and then you can only do like less workouts and less things with a basketball. Okay, and you know, it's interesting you say that um, the capacity is going to be different. Um, sometimes when we're playing games or we're doing anything, we like people to watch us. Do you think it's going to be different not having certain spectators or fans in there watching you? Yeah, but it's going to help us focus more and not, not look at how people think of us. Okay, okay. So if, if you go to a game, and nobody's in the gym. Quiet. Echoes. And you do something really amazing. But unfortunately, no one could see it that you really wanted to see. You think that's going to affect you? No, because it's going to show me that I have to keep doing it and show, and show that I can do it. Okay. So, um, assuming you had some pretty good, tough games last year. What would be one of your most memorable on the court experiences? Probably when stealing the ball and then throwing it down the court for a fast break. Because to me, assists are more important than just getting more points than everybody. Okay. So you actually had enough good sense to know where your players were on the court and get that ball off court. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people are selfish. And that's that's really good to hear that you're saying that. Um, let me ask you this. What are your goals for the future? So I want to make it to the WNBA or graphic designing my own brand in college. Do you have any colleges that you're interested in? Old Dominion or Clark Atlanta University. Okay. I know a few alumni of Old Dominion. <laughs> so I think that's definitely smart to go ahead and focus on that now and early. Uh, what other things are you doing early to get ready for college? Um, I'm studying a lot and getting ready to, I'm drawing a lot more and customizing things to get ready to graphic design. Okay, okay. So, that's important. Okay, would you say that's just as important as getting on the court and exercise and working out? Yeah, because you don't know if you're going to make it all the time. And if you don't, you at least you have a backup to keep striving for well, let me ask you this. Since you bring up, you don't know if you're going to make it all the time. How does it feel, the thought of knowing that you're entering your high school career, how does it feel to know that you're going to be playing with people at the top of their age level? How does that feel? It's, it doesn't really bother me much because it's like you don't know how people play. Like They could be big and there could be a center, but they don't play the same as a center would normally play. So you shouldn't fear someone over their appearances. Okay, okay. Does the physical part make you feel a little worried? Because you know, I gotta tell you, I, I you know, you, you're going, you're going against some, 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 some athletes, and you are going to be going against those athletes. Mm -hmm. You will be a part of that program, and I just wonder, how do you feel about that physical part? 
it, I'm not really scared of it or worried about it. Because at least you get to see, like, on your first year what's going to be coming for you and what you need to work on to get stronger for, against them. Okay, okay. Can you give any uh, rising middle schoolers any tips when they go to trials? Don't don't think or overthink about it. Just try your best. And if you don't make it the first year, keep going to the second year and third year. What was the hardest thing about trials? Is the amount of people that try out. You don't know how they play and what they what the coaches are seeking for. What do you think most coaches are looking for? They're looking for a good, good, non-selfish player. Like they want the, everybody to get a chance with the ball, and like not only one person is the star of the team, like the whole team is the star. Okay. Okay, since you brought up star, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you this though. What's one of your special abilities on the court? Um, I'm really good at stealing and staying on my on my um player. Okay. What's one of your special abilities off the court? Um, focusing on what on school and focusing on what I need to do to get my future together. Okay. Let me ask you this. Winning is important. Do you think that comes first or second? Second. Okay. You know, I, I would agree with that. Um, it does say that winning should come second. First should be your personal goals. Do you have any personal goals? Is to make it through make it through high school and and get my grades good and get some scholarships to help me get into colleges. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I, I would like to. Um, I definitely appreciate you giving me a little bit of your time, giving me an inside look in your brain as far as how you think, you know. And um, one thing I would give you a tip for, you know, do everything and anything you can do in high school. Don't let anyone make you feel like, don't do that. That's a waste of time. And you're right about the groups. I agree with you on the groups. I think that that can take you away from things that you probably won't see because they're all in your way. So I think you definitely, you're hitting the nail on the head on that. So I definitely uh, appreciate your insight, and we will we'll do this again. Thank you, Shana. Thank you.